Before diving into the implementation details, let's go ahead and take a look at the application you'll be building in this section. You can see this is a news application which displays all the latest news from around the world onto your iPhone or on Android device. I can go ahead and select a certain application or certain news and go and read more details about that news. I can even go to the search bar and select for a particular news. I can search for news related to Houston. And if I'm interested in some news, I can click on it and go to that particular page. So this is a great app. And if you even type in a wrong word over here, like the word that maybe doesn't exist. So let's go ahead and type in something that the news will not be able to find, hopefully. Then we have made sure that it doesn't crash, but it simply says no results found. So we are going to be taking a look at those kind of edge cases also. Let's go ahead and search for Austin news. And now this is all the news from Austin, Texas. I know that you're excited. Let's go ahead and start building this amazing news application in Flutter. Before diving into the implementation details, Let's go ahead and take a look at the application you'll be building in this section. You can see this is a news application which displays all the latest news from around the world onto your iPhone or on Android device. I can go ahead and select a certain application or certain news and go and read more details about that news. I can even go to the search bar and select for a particular news. I can search for news related to Houston. And if I'm interested in some news, I can click on it and go to that particular page. So this is a great app. And if you even type in a wrong word over here, like the word that maybe doesn't exist. So let's go ahead and type in something that the news will not be able to find, hopefully. Then we have made sure that it doesn't crash, but it simply says no results found. So we are going to be taking a look at those kind of edge cases also. Let's go ahead and search for Austin news. And now this is all the news from Austin, Texas. I know that you're excited. Let's go ahead and start building this amazing news application in Flutter. So now that you have registered with the news API, make sure that you have because that's a mandatory step. You need the API key from news API or else you will not be able to get all the news from the service. Now we can go ahead and get started with creating our Flutter project. You can use Android Studio if you want to. I'm simply going to use VS Code because it's a little bit light uh, editor that doesn't take that much memory. Now I can go to View, Command Palette, and you can see that I have this Flutter project. And if you don't know that how we get to this point and how do we have this Flutter new project, then you may have to check out the section for Hello Flutter, where we install VS Code and we install all the different extensions that we need in VS Code to get started with Flutter. So go to the previous sections and in the Hello Flutter section, you can actually see that how we install all of these things. So now I'm gonna say, create a new project. What do we want to call? Uh, you can call this anything you want. I'm just gonna call it Fresh News. And now I'm just gonna save it on desktop and eventually I'm gonna move it, but that's perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and create this project. Now you can see that the first time it's creating the project, it's going to build and everything and it's going to create all of these different folders and by default flutter is going to create for you a counter application which has a lot of code written we obviously will not be using this flutter demo application as you can see we will be removing all of this code and then starting from completely from scratch so in order to do that i'm just going to remove all of this code now currently i'm inside the lip folder and inside main.dart file. And I can just remove all of this stuff because I don't really want any of that stuff right now. 
and I will create a app which will be extends from state list widget. For now, we're just going to use state list widget. We just want to set up something. And now finally, I have to go ahead and overwrite the build function. I will return a material app. We can have a title. We can call it fresh news. You can call it anything you want. And then the other one will be home. So over here in home, I'm just going to use scaffold so I can create a particular scaffolding, which will have an app bar. So let's go ahead and create the app bar also. Title, which is text, and we can say latest news. And for the body of the scaffold, right over here, body, we're simply going to use a text view, and then we can say latest news will be displayed here. Perfect. All right, so this will be our starting point. But in this lecture, I want to show you that how we can get started with creating our model. That model will be able to consume, will be able to represent the news items that are being returned to us. All right. So if you want to go and check out that what exactly the model should contain, let's go ahead and first check out the JSON that we'll be working against so that we know that our model should contain what properties. I'm going to move over here to this screen and now you can see the top headlines. So this is basically the top headlines. This is the return value of the top headlines with all the JSON. The part that we are interested in is the title, the description, URL, and URL to image. So these are the parts that we are interested in. So our model should accommodate all of those different things. So now we can actually go back to our code and start creating our model. Now to organize our code better, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new folder inside the lib folder and I will call it models. Perfect. Inside the models, I can go ahead and add a brand new file and I'm just going to call it newsarticle.dart and this will be the model that we're going to create. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and say news article and it will have a bunch of different properties. So we will have a property called title. We will have a property called description as we have uh, explained earlier on. We will have a property called URL to image and we will have a property called URL. Now, since this is marked with final, we do have to make sure that we initialize these properties and the best way to do that is to initialize it inside a constructor. So I'm going to go ahead and create a constructor. And in order to create a news article, you should pass in all of these different properties. So let's go ahead and add all of these properties. This dot URL, which is a URL to the news. Perfect. So now we have this. We also need to create a function that is going to take in a JSON, basically a dictionary, because if you look over here, we will eventually be getting a dictionary. And taking the dictionary and then giving us the news article object. In other words, that particular dictionary will be, or that particular object, news article object, will be created using a dictionary, a JSON dictionary. So this will be our factory function or a factory method, which means that this function will be responsible for creating the new instances of the news article object or the news article class. So let's call it news article dot from JSON. And we're going to pass in the JSON, which will have a string key and a dynamic value, meaning we don't really know the value type. So we're just going to put it dynamic. And now using this JSON or a dictionary, we can construct a brand new news article object. So I can go over here and say news and then return news article and just assigning these different things. So title will be JSON title. Now this JSON title will be coming from this title in the JSON. We will eventually have to create a web service so that we will be able to 
download this particular JSON and then eventually map the JSON to a model. Description would be equals to JSON description. Then we have URL to image, which will be equal, equal to URL to image. And finally, URL, which will be URL. Perfect. So now we have created a from JSON factory function, which is going to take in a dictionary, which will be a JSON. And using that JSON dictionary, we can construct a brand new news article object. So our model is now completed. But in order to get all of that information mapped to a object, news article object, we need to create a web service or some sort of a service that can create or do a network request and fetch all this data. So let's go ahead and see in the next lecture that how we can get started with creating a web service which is able to fetch the top headlines from the news API. If you want to learn how to create amazing Flutter applications using MVVM design pattern, then check out my course Flutter and Dart Build Apps using MVVM design pattern. This is a nine plus hour course and it's going to start by explaining to you what exactly is MVVM design pattern and immediately going to jump into some amazing projects like the news app that where you will fetch the information from a JSON API the Pathfinder application, which is going to integrate with Google Maps and Google Places to let you know of good restaurants near you. Then the City Care application, which in which you can take pictures and you can even upload pictures to your custom server. Then finally, we're gonna jump into Hacker News application where you will integrate with the Hacker News public API and display all the Hacker News along with their comments. I even added the source code for some of the clone apps that we will be doing. The Apple Stocks app, the Apple Weather app, the Apple News app, and the Apple App Store app. This is an amazing course, and this is a little bit of an intermediate to an advanced course. So if you are a complete beginner, I don't really recommend this course for you. There are other courses out there, but if you have already passed that beginner stage, this is the next step for you. Now, the best way to get this course is check out the YouTube description and you will find the link to the Flutter and Dart course. Click on the link and get the course. You will get the best price. And to be really honest, I'll get to care, keep a little bit of a higher revenue if you use my links. So thank you so much. And I can't wait for you to join this course.